and applauded. And the more righteous something is and the more proper and correct it is, the more it's demonized. I said deified and demonized, right? So good becomes bad, bad becomes good. And you're just dealing in a, you're in a world now where handshakes don't matter. You're in a world now where nobody keeps their word. It's extraordinary to me that anything gets done. Service workers don't keep their word. You have, you have jobs done. You take your car to the mechanics. You have people come and work on your home. You have your house built. You, everything now is just not as excellent as it once was. And this is just, you know, I want to say sign of the times, but all the more reason you should shine that much brighter. All the more reason you should hold the gold standard of behavior. All the more reason you should be excellent in your behavior. All the more reason you should not rant. All the more reason you should not retaliate. If you have people go to other companies or other opportunities, let them go. Keep your heart clear. Stay free. Love people. Remove yourself from the conversation. I found that's the greatest way to do it. Because you know what? At the end of the day, people in this world don't like to take responsibility or be accountable for their lives or for the actions. So they want to blame somebody else or they feel like somebody else owes them. And the lack of fruit is a tremendous motivator for people to manufacture stories and justify behavior. Rather than just working harder, looking on the inside, looking in a mirror, making the right decision, all too often you just see a trail of tears, a lot of blame, and just junk. And so it's one of these things where when I, when I brought this subject up in the title tonight, um, people deal with it all the time. Recently, I heard people dealing with it. It's constant. People ask my advice all the time about this subject. And I say, well, you know, yeah, it's, it's bad. I, I get it. I get it. Because it's the, it's the carnage. It's not the fact that somebody goes somewhere else or does something else. That's not the point. It's the carnage and it's the lack of integrity and it's the ugliness that is always wrapped around it or many times wrapped around it. And I just say, you know what? Never mind what they did. Your company may or may not do something about it. Sometimes they want to just brush it under the rug because they don't want to deal with it legally. Sometimes... Um, People just say, you know what, just leave it alone. I don't care how people are going to deal with it. My, always, my question always is you. How are you going to deal with it? Because in this world, you can do everything right and people are going to hate you. You can do everything wrong and people are going to hate you. You know, you can do something right 99 times and the one time you don't do it perfect, somebody's going to use that as the excuse to justify how they are doing whatever they're going to do. And the real key is to keep your heart straight. Because guys, you have to press into joy. You have to choose. Here's the word. You have to choose joy. You have to choose peace. You have to choose every day. I love uh, the verse says, let your light so shine. It's whose decision is that? It's yours. Let your light so shine so that when men look at your deeds, men, plural, meaning humanity, because people like to be ticky-tacky about that stuff. When men look upon your deeds, they glorify God because of your example. You know how refreshing it would be if people would spend time looking at themselves in the mirror and quit looking at everybody else? You get better every day. Take yourself to the woodshed. Every day go to bed with your head on your pillow at night, a little bit more loving, a little bit more forgiving, forgiving, a little bit more, a little bit better at extending grace upon yourself. And if something happens that's ugly, just free your heart of it. Pray for them. Say, you know what? I bless those people and I hope they just have, a, you know, I hate what happened, but you know what, may, may they find what they're looking for and be free. Your peace is not worth 
And I see Cheryl just popped up. Uh, I just literally saw this on the feed. So Cheryl, I, it said greener grass. Well, let me, let me tell you, I wrote, I wrote about this very thing, and I train on it, about the greener grass. Everybody's looking for greener grass, right? So when they go to the promised greener grass, what are they handed? Oh, though no, they're not given a patch of greener grass. Absolutely not. What they're given is a big patch of dirt and a bag of seeds. They still have to plant it, till it, water it, take care of it, get rid of the weeds until they have green grass themselves. So this concept of going to have greener grass, problem is when they show up, they're handed a bag of seeds and they still have to create the green grass because they can't take it from somebody else. And this is the big lie that drives people. You know, you can be first and this is your chance and blah, 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 and all these little excuses. And, you know, this company's fantastic because these guys were the devil and they didn't do anything right or they could never, oh, you know, I was sold out and I was absolutely 100% and I was a robot proselytizing the cause of the company I was in. But as soon as this one comes up now, that is worthless. This is the greatest one. And every two years, people are jumping from thing to thing. I've, I've known people that have been in 10, 15, 20 different companies and opportunities. They're independent consultants. Leave them alone. Let them do it. This is not about pointing fingers. But as life is weird and people do weird things, you and I have done crazy stuff, folks. Come on. We haven't always exited in the manner that we should have, I'm sure, in whatever endeavor it is. And I'm sure we could have done it better or smoother. The key is don't leave carnage. The key is do it with integrity. The key is tell everybody openly. The key is don't do things secretly. The key is don't try to snake in and ruin organizations and families and businesses because you're trying to build you so you're willing to go after them. And when you go after them to build you, you uproot everything they built for your gain and then your gain is short-lived and they lost everything that they planted over time as well because they believed your silver tongue. This is good news because if you can see this for what it is and handle it the way it should be done and extend grace upon yourself and just let it go and continue to do the right thing and build you, guess what? You can maintain peace, you can maintain joy. People come and go, life is crazy. And you know what? You're not going to have the momentum stolen. You're not gonna have weeks or months of drama phone calls. You're not going to deal with the he said, she said. You're not going to think about them in the night. You're gonna wash your hands from all of it. One of the greatest things you can do, folks, is be free, but it requires a choice because guess what? They're independent consultants. You don't own them. You can't control what they do. Hopefully people do the right thing. Most people don't. Well, not most, but there's a lot of people that don't, but you're in charge of how you handle it. Handle it well. Fight for peace. I love, uh, like, hey, this might as well be a Sunday morning service, right? Because I, I feel like I could definitely uh, preach tonight, <laughs> but in all of your laboring under the sun, in all of your striving and all the things that you pursue, strive to enter into rest. Strive to enter into his rest. Strive to enter into the rest that is supposed to saturate every day of your life, every day of the week, every decision you make, don't let this junk come in and steal your joy from your spouse. Don't let your kids see you pacing the house on phone calls, dealing with ugly and ugliness and drama. Wash it off of you. Strive to enter into rest. Choose peace. That's my video tonight. I know that has helped somebody. If it did, comment below. And um, as always, um, I'm really proud of you. You are a champion in the making. You can do anything you decide to do, but do it right. Because those people that do things with integrity 
and honor and character, those are the ones that will have established long-term and sustainable success in their lives. This other junk, it's not even worth your time. All right, guys. Blessings. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.